Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the sixth problem of fourth versus uh, division three round nine twenty seven. So what is the problem? So uh, we are given a fun game to feed cats. So uh, the level of the game consists of in steps. There are in cats. So there are two parameters. One is in uh, there are in steps in the game and there are in cats. The cat I is present at uh, from li to ri. Okay. Uh, in each step you can feed all the cats that are currently present or you can do nothing now if you feed same cat more than twice it will overeat so you will immediately lose the game so we have to find the maximum number of cats we can feed so uh, let's take one example to understand the problem better so let's copy this example okay so let me copy this so this is uh, this is the example so what does it mean this means that the first cat so there are six cats and there are 15 steps present so the first cat is present from 2 to 10 so let's draw some number line uh, so the maximum number present here is 12 and minimum present here is 1 so let's uh, draw from 1 to 12 so let me draw this so uh, the first cat is present from 3 to uh, 2 to 10 okay so the first cat is present from 3 to 10 the second cat is present uh, sorry the second cat is present from uh, 3 to 5 so uh, this is the second cat present now the third cat is present from 2 to 4 uh, so the third cat is present from 2 to 4 similarly fourth cat is present at the seventh point uh, only the seventh point and fifth cat is present from 8 to 12 uh, 8 to 12 and the sixth cat is present at the 11th point okay so sixth cat is present at the 11th point so let's check what is the optimal way to solve this so if you uh, feed cats at, uh, cats at step 4 and 11 so let's say we feed the cat at the fourth step and the 11th step so if we feed the cat at 11th step then the, there will be two cats that will be filled and if we can uh, feed the cat at four step there will be three cats okay so total answer will be what five so the answer is five here so uh, this is the most optimal solution where we can feed five cats so now uh, let's check how we can solve this problem so let's uh, discuss about observations so the first observations uh, we can make is obviously in the constants so constants on n and m is uh, n is 10 to the power 6 and m is 2 into 10 to the power 5 and total number of test cases are 10 to the power 4 and sum of n is 10 to the power 6 and sum of m is 2 into 10 to the power 5 so the uh, constants on t is not that important so our overall time complexity could be order of n uh, plus m or order of n plus m log n okay order of n plus m log n like that okay in plus m into log m okay log n or m you can say so these are the two, two possible time complexities now uh, let's think about how we can solve this problem okay so let's say uh, we are feeding uh, some cat at point x okay let's say we are feeding some cat at point x okay so that means that uh, there are uh, some cats at uh, that are active at point x so let's call it as active of x active of x means the number of cats that are active at the point x okay now if uh, some of some cats are active at point x then we can't feed them uh, at the next time okay we can we can't feed them twice so let's call, take some array l so l of active of x will give us the minimum value uh, that uh, the, the all, among all the possible values of the current active active of x l will give us the minimum possible left value so we will build two arrays one is l and another one is r l will contain the all the left points and r will contain all the r, r points so left of active of x will give us the minimum value uh, what we can say minimum we will take minimum of left of active of x that means uh, all the cats uh, from this l of active of x to x will be uh, fed from the current uh, uh, what we can say current food okay so all the cats from left of active of x to x will be fed from the current food so let's uh, take some uh, dp array or uh, you can say answer so let's say dp of x is nothing but this dp of left of active of x so let's call it as left of active of x l act it will be nothing but l of act minus one plus number of active cats so it will be nothing but active of x okay so dp of x is nothing but dp of uh, left active of x minus 1 plus active of x why 
because let's say uh, let's say uh, we are at some point x okay so all the cats from x to l of active of x are, will be fed from the current food so all the uh, cats which are at the left side of this l will be fed from the uh, other foods so we are uh, uh, traversing over all the x in increasing order so we will do dp of x equals to dp of l of active of uh, x minus 1 plus active of x the rest of part are quite simple so i will jump to the code and i will try to explain how i have uh, done this dp okay so here uh, uh, i have taken three arrays one is dp we will uh, store the answers and right and left so left will contain uh, so what is l and what is r so l of i, I will contain all the uh, the number of now l of i will contain the number of uh, cats that are starting from the current i index so number of cats starting from the i index or r of i will be a vector r of i will be a vector that will store all the left points the, of the cats which are uh, ending at the current ith index so r i will contain all the left points okay so that's why uh, you can see that uh, i am taking input x and y i am incrementing the value of x okay so um, i am incrementing all the cats uh, that, that are starting from the x position and i am putting uh, x in the ri val ry value okay so all the cats which are at ending at the y position i will add x in x index in ry okay and s will store us s is nothing but the number of active cats so i am storing all the left indexes all the left indexes of the cats that are currently active okay so we are uh, initializing mini with one okay and we are adding uh, i the, that are the number of cats starting from the current position so i we are inserting i in the uh, s multi set s is a multi set okay so and if the length of s is greater than 0 or mini mini is nothing but left of active of x so mini is the start of the s or first element of the set okay so now we are initializing dpi s is dpi minus 1 now we are doing uh, dpi equals to you can uh, skip this step and you can write dpi minus 1 here directly and dp of mini minus 1 that uh, i have already explained that's dp of elect minus 1 plus the number of uh, active elements which is nothing but length of s okay now we are iterating over all the left points of the current uh, uh, r of i that means all the left points that are present at the current uh, right element so th uh, that cats will be no now inactive after we pass from i to i plus 1 so that cat that cats will be inactive so we are uh, erasing the cats from our active set so you can rename s as active okay so and at the end we are printing dp of n i hope you will get the uh, understanding and how we are uh, constructing the dp and what are the transition steps if you have any doubt in any part of the video you can always ask in the comment section i will uh, leave the uh, code link in the description box if you find this video helpful please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you